Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the online class of English reading and writing for grade 5. Here I am your teacher Mr. Snawla. And today we are going to start our new lesson that belongs to unit number 4. The name of the lesson is Where is Brownie? Where is Brownie? This lesson actually belongs to the genre of drama. Drama is a kind of a literary work in which five, six or sometimes more than ten characters get involved with each other during different time frames. In a drama, all these persons appear sequence-wise. They talk about one issue, they discuss their ideas, they explain their reasons, they say some sentences or words, they do the conversation, dialogues, and then they make a conclusion. That's how our drama actually comes to an ending point. In one drama, unlike stories, there are different sequences or different acts we can say. In this drama, you will find three different scenes, means three different situations. But all these three situations will be centralized for one focal point so let's begin our topic our lesson that is where is brownie please come to page number 252 of your english reading book before you start reading the drama i would like to explain the objectives in this lesson the students will learn how our drama is different from other types of genres also, they will understand about dialogues and conversations which are the integral part of any drama. My dear students, in any story, the narrator is only one person. That narrator or the storyteller describes the whole event. But in this drama, you will see four or five different persons, they are talking with each other under certain circumstances. So you have to be clear about their context, about their talking and about their main ideas. On page number 252, you will find the title, Where is Brownie? Where is Brownie? On page number 252, we have the topic, Where is Brownie? Here you will also see cast. Cast means the people are characters who are in this drama, means all the persons who are appearing or who are coming in this drama, who are they? Whether they are friends for each other, are they class fellows, are they siblings, are they parents, are children, what is their relation? Everything is explained before you formally kick off the drama. So what are our characters? First of all, we have Sam and Alex Jensen. They are twin sisters with different personalities. Sam is athletic and outgoing. Alex is quiet and studious. And also we have a narrator, means a person who is describing all these things. One of the sisters, 10 years later. Avon, a classmate. Nick, the building superintendent. And Nikki, Nick's young son. On page number 253, you will find this scene number 1. Whenever there is a drama, the narrator will explain to you what is the setting. Setting means the background, where this drama is taking place. Whether the characters are in a garden, or in a park, or in a classroom, where are they? Where are they sitting? If they are in a room, what is the room like? What are the things in the room? What are they doing? Okay, so all these things must be clear to you so that you will visualize all these things. Okay, I'm going to read the text and hopefully you will also follow the lines. On page number 253, C number 1, setting. 
A two person bedroom in an apartment. Sam sits at a messy desk creating a poster. Yohan works at a clean desk. Nearby are an empty terrarium and a paper bag that is wet and torn at the bottom. Narrator. Now we are going to listen to the words of narrator, means a person who is telling you all these things. Whoever claimed that two heads are better than one never met and my twin sister. Half the time she makes problems worse rather than better, like when we lost brownie or pet chameleon. Alex enters Sam and Evan quickly cover up their work. Alex, how was the science fair? Means how was the science exhibition? Did everyone like brownie? Now Sam gives an answer. He replies, Sam, they did. Mr. Rollins was astounded that my exhibit was so good. Sam tries to hide the empty terrarium from Alex. Alex, who is Brownie? And why is Evan here? Evan and Sam begin texting on handheld devices. Alex, how should I interpret their silence? You are making me feel suspicious. And who is Brownie? Sam, hmm. Brown is missing. Brown is missing. But look, Evan and I made these. Sam pulls out a poster she had concealed on her desk. Sam, we will put them up at school tomorrow. Alex, what makes you think Brownie is back at school? Sam, bad because that's the last place I saw him in that bag. Alex, hey, the bottom of the bag is all wet. Sam, maybe it got wet in the lobby. Little Nicky was playing in the fountain with his holy paper boat thingies. Alex, that is origami. To be precise, hey, the bag has a rip. Rip? I didn't see a rip. Oh, at the bottom. Alex, follow me. I think I know where Brownie is. Narrator, who raced to the lobby, Brownie had been missing for over an hour. But better late than never. My dear students, so far we have concluded scene number one. Now scene number two will appear on the next page. That's quite lengthy. Page number 254 begins with scene number two. Again, you will understand the setting means a background. The lobby of the apartment building, a tall green potted plant stands next to a small fountain where Nikki is playing. Alex, Sam and Evan talk to Nick near a written wood. Nick, so these posters are about your lizard, Brownie. I am still perplexed so, as to why you think he is down here. Sam, because we already checked upstairs. Alex, Brownie is a chameleon. We think he escaped when Sam set the bag down near the fountain. Nick. Hey, Nicky. Any brown lizards in the lobby? Nicky says, nope. Nick. Maybe you should reconsider this and try searching your apartment again. Evan. Wait a minute. Checks his device. It says here that chameleons climb trees. Climb trees. Nick. Nikki, any brown lizards in that tree? Nikki, no. Evan. It also says that chameleons prefer running water, like that fountain. Nick, Nikki, any brown lizards in the fountain? Nikki, no. Scene number is continue as well on page number 255. Let's see what does it say. Nick, what else? Does that thing say? Sam, yeah, inquisitive minds want to know. Alex, to Sam, don't you want to find Brownie? Or are you thinking out of sight, out of mind? Sam, he's just a lizard. Alex, I mean chameleon. It's not exactly absence makes the heart grow fonder. Evan, listen to this. Chameleons change color to match their environments when they are confused or afraid. Alex, of course. 
Nikki, any green lizards over there? Nikki points into the tree. There is just that one. Alex, it is brownie. Sam, who is now confused? Brownie has always been brown. Alex, that's because we put only brown things in his cage, like branches and wood chips. Ewan, maybe you should buy him a green plant. Sam, and a little fountain. Nikki, and boats to go sailing. Narrator, well, that's how we found our beloved brownie and all was well with the world once more. My dear boys, here we have finished our drama in which we have the characters with the names of Sam, Alex, Evan, Nick, Nikki and also narrator. They all are talking about one animal that belonged to them but it has escaped. Now they are searching where the brownie has gone. It is a very interesting lesson, so you can make some characters in companionship with your siblings to get a better understanding of the drama. This is a chameleon. Now your homework is to read the lesson twice. Better develop the characterization in a good company of your siblings or your friends assign each other one specific role means you will be Alex another person will be Sam third person will be narrator fourth person will be Evan fifth boy will be Nick another will be Nikki and then they will go through the text according to the main text so this will give you a very good understanding about the lesson Next time we will do the vocabulary words meanings and their sentences. Also we will try to complete our comprehension assignments. Thank you very much for attending the online class.